High Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Hey, what was your, what's your thoughts about tonight's game, Todd? <laughs> um, I think we fell susceptible to our Achilles heel again, and that is um, not being able to, to see out games that we've been competing in. I, tired of losing track of the games that we've been ahead by one goal after two periods and you know find a way to to throw it away now I have to be fair to my my players um, I think that you know the effort that they put in last night um, was substantial considering that we were missing three key players in our lineup um, I thought they put up a hell of a fight um, but you know, once again, losing uh, Chase Shaber, where I finally think he's he's getting up to pace and, and being the influential um, player in the lineup that he that he can be, oh, that hurt. And um, you, you know, the fatigue that that came in from being um, short three imports really caught up with us probably at some point tonight, but. On the flip side of that, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. It's a lesson that we haven't learned as a group. We continue to turn over pucks um, in, in key areas, and teams are too good at countering. Um, you know, I, I feel at times, you, you know, I'm, I'll make excuses for these guys all the time, but I feel at times we lack that killer instinct that we're seeing teams put us away with um, because you know throughout this season and there has been a few bad performances but throughout this season uh, I've, I've witnessed this group of players being more than capable of of competing and playing with a team um, and then make a you know a bad decision or two and mentally um, can't get composed and, and regroup back into it um, that along with their, their their being banged up and fatigued tonight, took its toll. And what do you think the turning point was? Obviously, I think we're in quite a strong position at the end of the short second period. Goal. Of course, yeah, there's a short-handed yeah. goal, the, yeah. the sucker punch. Do you think it was, was it that tiredness coming in as well? Well, tiredness, and then you're not able to do the things that make you look successful. So if you look at our first period start, um, we were shooting the puck from all over. We were being quick. We were moving the puck. Um, at no, at no de- point is there a decision to say, okay, that's being successful. Let's get away from that. Um, we get a power play. We score on it. Um, they moved it around the entire power play. They look well. Um, and then we get subsequent couple power plays after that. And we look very pedestrian and a team skating around us when we have the extra player on the ice. Um, it's very frustrating um, to, to witness that on the bench, but I imagine uh, sitting in the stands, it, it can get frustrating as well. People certainly, um, you know, have showed their displeasure in that this season. And I mean, that's in, in everybody's entirety and they're right. Um, I, I think that What's important is, is, as I mentioned at the start of this rambling question, um, killer instinct um, and, and, you know, that decision to do right, simple plays all the time goes a long way in hockey. You mentioned Chase as well. What's the, the story with Chase? Yeah, he, it doesn't look great right now. I mean, um, I, I thought the last two games were the best we've seen him skate. He had to pull up with a, an, a leg injury yesterday, um, and we're going to need to get a scan on it until we can figure out what exactly it is. But it's certainly a, an area of concern for us. The positive tonight, we've seen some ice time for Scott Jamison tonight. How's he, um, how's he kind of fitting into the, the mold of the team? Well, Jamo's progression with the, the club has been moved up. I thought he played um, he played significantly more last night and did well. I mean, I think positionally, um, y- you know, game pace is um, a-, a little bit quicker and, and guys are doing a little bit more out there. Um, but you know what? The kid skates well. He's got a great attitude and, you, you know, hopefully has a, a long, prosperous future with this club. 
going into probably quite an important stretch over the Christmas period. Um, what, are you, what are you looking to get out of the, the, the games that are coming up over Christmas? Well, um, you, you know, I, I don't want to forget the games here before Christmas. We've got to go into this Manchester building the first time um, this year. It's that small, tight building, and um, they seem to be well suited for it again this year. Um, and we currently find ourselves in a dogfight with them for league position. Um, and then we have Belfast um, coming back in here off the, the back of us, um, winning a pretty sound performance off them a couple of weeks ago. So um, another tough weekend. Um, we, need, we need to get these bodies back into the lineup. And then over the Christmas period, um, you know, just teams that are toiling alongside of us as well, that um, probably not getting the results they want or at times maybe deserve, but um, there isn't anybody feeling sorry for us um, and, and we're not feeling sorry for ourselves. We just got to get back to work and, and, and keep going.